Hey, welcome back to more Political Access. Let's take a super quick look at Texas's primary results from last week. Before we do, if you enjoy this, please like, share, subscribe, or leave a comment down below. And Texas with the governor's race, Greg Abbott, cruised to a two-thirds of the vote. He's going to face Beto O'Rourke in November. Should be a pretty solid win for Abbott in 2018, the blue wave year. Abbott won by about 13%. And in that primary, Republicans had over 500,000 more votes. This time they have almost 900,000. Don't put a ton of weight on the primary numbers, but if you do, it should bode well for Abbott. Attorney General tend to run off between Ken Paxton and George P. Bush. And Ken Paxton is Trump endorsed. We'll see how that goes. Probably pull it out. Either way, he'll probably win it in November by a fairly easy margin. Democrats are heading to a runoff. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, easy win for him. Should be pretty easy win again in November. Democrats are heading to a runoff there. Another action in the Rio Grande Valley for the U.S. House, 15th District and the 28th, both potential pickups for the Republicans, especially the 15th and the 28th. Brutal Democratic primary between a further left candidate, Jessica Cisneros, against the establishment, Henry Cuellar. Runoff will be in late May. We'll see what happens there. But those are going to be interesting to see if they can be picked off by the Republicans. In the 3rd District, Van Taylor has quit the race after he was heading to a runoff. That's interesting. Probably wouldn't have changed parties anyway, but... Still interesting to note. There's other races, state Supreme Court, land commissioner, state senate, all that. Put it in the link below if you want to look at any of it. But those are a few of the quick highlights, and it'll be fun to watch. Next primaries are not until early May, so this is it for a little while. But that's what we're looking at so far. Thanks for watching.